Hey everybody, Matt Stifler Greasby here, week four, um, the five uh, principles of strength. Um, number one is measurement. And one way that I uh, work on measuring and understand the measurement of my students is, um, or my athletes as I coach uh, JV soccer, is I put them through a conditioning test in the beginning of the year. After the team's been drawn and I have my team, put them through an intense workout um, first couple days. Uh, and through this, I'm able to see both their physical and mental um, capabilities, um, their attributes, and who they are uh, through this. It's a great way uh, for me to see who's, who's fit, who's conditioned and ready to play, um, those who aren't. It also helps me see um, those who have the determination to push through the discomfort of, of being pushed to the max, um, and those that, are, um, that have the quitting mentality or that want to give up because they're uncomfortable or, or if they're tired. And so it really helps me to gauge the, the players on my team uh, and see how far I can push them throughout the year and see who I can depend upon. And also through this, it helps me see teamwork and helps me see the leaders on my team. Um, I get a chance to see if, if someone's going to step up and, and encourage the rest of the team to, to push through the pain, push through um, you know the discomfort. So it's a great uh, way for me just to understand um, the strengths uh, of measurement through my students. Uh, principle two is individualism and just that idea of, for me, uh, providing positive feedback to them, uh, both during and after the game. Um, as a team, you know, just telling them, hey, this is what we've done great. And this usually happens both at halftime, after the game, and then the next day at practice. And just highlighting, hey, look at guys, this is what we've done really well, whether it's passing or dribbling, shooting, um, whatever the case may be, and just really highlighting that. And then on the other hand, telling, hey, this is something that we struggled with, or this is something that we need to improve upon, and then working on it in practice um, and having them. Um, you know, be a part of it. And so if they feel like they need to work on something or the team needs to work on something, I let them um, feel free to speak out and let us, uh, let me and the other coaches know that this is something that they want to work on as a team. Um, and so letting them do that. Principle three is networking. Um, and so this way, or in this, um, I want to like more encourage the students on their own or the athletes on their own. Um, but I, I open up, um, you know, me and the other coaches, we stay after the practice and we tell them, hey, if there's something that you personally want to work on, um, you know, shooting, dribbling, uh, even just conditioning, um, we let them know. And if they, if they want to stay and, and get better, then uh, we are open to that. And this is a time where we can uh, be more personal with them um, and tell them, you know, different drills and different plays that we expect them to do and, and work on them with them. Um, you know, work on the simple things of just passing, ball control. Um, but helping them out and helping them see um, that we're willing to help them uh, grow as athletes and encouraging them also to pass along the information that they learn and be, a, um, be an example to others and um, practice with them on the other team or on their own team, sorry, uh, practice with their teammates. So that's a big thing that we do, uh, but that's principle three. Principle four, deliberate application. Um, with this one, um, you know, just like in class, and I, this is what I tell my, my players, like in class, you're going to learn a lesson. Uh, you might do worksheets, a PowerPoint, but then you go home and you study a little bit more. You do homework. And this is what I encourage them to do is, um, you know, after soccer practice is done, uh, I, you know, if you have time, work on more, um, you know, conditioning, work on dribbling, th uh, throw-ins, shooting, whatever the case may be. But, you know, don't expect to get better um, if you're only coming out, you know, for the hour and a half each day. Uh, if you have time at home, you know, time on the weekends to, to practice, to work on, um, you know, your conditioning through running, through agility tests, go to the weight room or go to the gym to lift um, and strengthen your, your muscles. And so with this way, uh, I want to help develop um, develop them and provide examples. So like showing them, hey, look, at this is these are different sprints you can do to get better. Um, this is how I want you to shoot. This is what would help you shoot with more control. Um you know, dribbling just with one foot for a while and sh telling them different drills to do. This is going to help them become uh, better athletes. Uh, principle five, uh, intentional development. Um, uh, seek out novel experience in previous unexplored venues. Uh, what I do with my team is um, after we're finished, usually the varsity team is still playing, and I have them all go and watch the varsity team. And I tell them, hey, look at, watch these players. You know, they're better than you. Watch them and how they play. Look at the precise passing they do. Look at their speed. Look at their skill set. This is something that I want you to get to. Uh, and this is what we work on in practice so that you can be here playing at this next level. And when they're able to watch that, um, I think it really helps them mentally see the, the steps they need to do. 
Uh, and I also encourage them to watch professional soccer or, or go to games. Um, a lot of colleges around here, um, you know, watch a professional like MLS or the Premier League. Um, a couple of the guys on my team are, are huge uh, Premier League fans. And so, um, but I have them watch it and I tell them, you know, analyze your position. Look at where, um, you know, that professional is playing and look what he's doing in, you know, look how he's playing defense. Look how he's coming back. And I have them watch those positions and, and watch the game so they can become a little bit more enlightened with um, just the things that uh, they want to become and what I want them on the, to do on the field. And this is, you know, and I remind them, hey, like, you know, just like in school, if you're, you know, doing a report, you need to go and do further research. You need to, you know, go online and watch uh, uh, or look at uh, different research projects or look at, uh, go to the library and look through books, um, find uh, few, or past reports on, you know, these people or whatever it may be. And so just that aspect of, um, you know, do the extra research, do, uh, you know, go take the extra step, go to a game, uh, work out on your own. Uh, these are all different ways that um, we can develop athletes, or I can develop athletes to, uh, to become better athletes, but also but also students of the game um, and of the classroom. All right, guys, thank you.